A memorable United Nations General Assembly has come to a close. World leaders from across the globe gathered in New York at a time of global instability with the North Korean nuclear threat top of the agenda. The UN headquarters have stood firm in Manhattan for 65 years, founded on the pillars of peace and security, human rights and international development. The responsibility of promoting the values and the work of the United Nations here in New York falls upon the shoulders of Penny Abby Wardina. She's the Commissioner for the Mayor's Office for International Affairs, and I'm pleased to welcome her back to the programme. I'm also delighted to welcome Fatimata Sise. She's an eighth grader at the Hyde Park Leadership Charter School in the Bronx, and she's also a participant in the Junior Ambassador Programme, which connects young people here in New York with the United Nations. Penny and Fatimata, it's wonderful to have you both here. Thank um, you. Penny, let me start with you. These two weeks, the United Nations, it's an opportunity for world leaders to get in front of a world stage, yeah. express their achievements, their hopes, their aspirations, mm -hmm. their concerns mm -hmm. as to what's happening. There's also a lot of back-channel meetings. Mm -hmm. It always tends to take place at a time when a lot's going on in the world, none more so than the North Korean nuclear threat at the moment. Mm -hmm. When it comes to addressing these pivotal, these important world situations. Mm. Uh, how essential are these two weeks in September in New York? They're incredibly essential. You know, something that um, listening to you describe why they're here, they're primarily here to work with each other. Um, the heads of state come with major delegations, including their foreign ministers and um, uh, experts on these issues. So there are a number of side meetings. And we like to think that the world is coming to New York City to get something done. You know, the United Nations has been such an important part of the, the city here for, for 70 years. Now the building has been here for, for 65 years right. on the East River. I think when the, the General Assembly takes place, a lot of people talk a lot about the traffic. Um, <laughs> yes. There's always a lot of intrigue as to what actually happens behind the closed doors. Yes. How do you connect people of New York to the United Nations and make it relevant to them? You know, we do that through a couple of different pillars. I think the economic connection is very important. My office has an economic impact analysis of the UN, and it is a significant economic boon. You talk about the traffic during these few weeks, but we have to remember this is traffic in our side on our sidewalks too. So in our bodegas, in our cafes, in our dry cleaners. So the economic piece, I think, is very relevant for us to talk about. But on the other end, it's the educational and cultural aspect that the UN brings. So we're here with Fatimate, who is. Um, a um, New York City junior ambassador. And one of the, the core um, sort of goals that the mayor and I wanted when we were thinking about what we were going to do with this office is how do we get every New Yorker to find value in having the UN here? And one of the ways we see doing that is through our youth, right? So when we have our junior ambassadors have this experience at the UN where they're learning about the different global goals, then they're coming back and they're activating in their community. And the key there is that they're going home and talking to their parents and their neighbors about it. And for the first time, um, communities that hadn't seen the relevance of what the UN is doing, what these these very lofty global goals are, they're now seeing the relevance in their own community and it's through their children. So that's one of the, the avenues in which we're really making that connection. Mr. So Fasimase, you're, you're part of the NYC uh, Junior Ambassador Program. Uh, why did you want to get involved? What was it about the United Nations that attracted you? At first, I really didn't know about the United Nations. I heard about it and when my teacher told us that she, our school has been selected to be in the Junior Ambassadors Program, and she explained to us what it's about. I really wanted to join, and because I really wanted to spread the word about why um, we need global peace, why everybody needs to help each other, um, how everybody needs to be equal in this world, because we only have one Earth, mm -hmm. and we really need a, um, help in, in um, preserving it, because we really... Humans are taking a lot from the earth and not giving anything back. So I really want to tell everybody how important the earth is and how important it is for us to all work together. That's brilliant. You mentioned the word preservation there. Um, you're working on one of the 17 sustainable development goals. Uh, it's called Life Below Water. Tell me a little bit about what that is. Yeah, so Sustainable Development Goal, or SDG number 14, Life Below Water, is mainly about um, the oceans and marine life. And I feel like the fact that 94% of life on Earth is aquatic really um, should get into our minds that we really need to help the ocean. Um, the Many countries around the world, like island countries, a lot of their people rely on the ocean and fishing for the economy and to survive. So without that, um, they won't have anything. And so 
and we really and I really want to um talk about pollution in the ocean cuz I live near I live near a body of water the Bronx River yeah. and sometimes when I'm going to like take the five bus and I pass the river I always see like a lot of garbage by the shore of it and there's always this like big boat with garbage in it on it and I really want to um like tell the people the Bronx what's happening tell them how we need to um help our this river so here's Penny, someone who's taken an issue very local in the community of the South Bronx River um, yes. and clearly has a huge passion for it and has applied it to the greater UN goals, which I guess so, is everything it's about, looking at the issues here is, in New York and then applying it to the United Nations. What we are looking to do is encourage all seventh grade educators. We want all educators in the seventh grade to think about how they can integrate one of the sustainable development goals in their curriculum. They apply to this program and when they're selected, there's this incredible opportunity to get a curated tour of the UN, get a uh, briefing from an expert whether it's in climate action, water management, human rights. And then we send a diplomat, a, one of the senior diplomats, into the school system, so the, into the classroom, so that the young people can see what, what do diplomats do? What are these people doing at the UN? But I think the most important part of this program is we ask them to activate in their community. Yeah. And what she said that was so powerful is why did they choose water? She lives next to the Bronx River. And she is seeing what is happening in our communities. And that kind of activation is honestly what I think is what I'm looking forward to in the future. Brilliant. Yeah. And I want to give you the last word. You had a chance to visit the, the United Nations this week. If you had to pick two or three words to describe your experience, what you thought of those hallowed halls there at the United Nations, what would you go for? I would go for amazing. Yeah. And I feel like even though we're young, we also see what's happening in our world and we also want to make a change. And a lot of people came to support Peace Day and I really feel like it was amazing to be there. Brilliant. The applications um, for the Junior Ambassador Program is now open. Uh, we will put all the information up online for our viewers uh, if they have children who want to, to apply for it. Yes. In the meantime, uh, Penny, thank you so much for My joining pleasure. us for your thank work. You. And Fatima, it's a real pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on all your work and being you. placed onto the Ambassador Program. Clearly, you're engaging in some wonderful work. Thank and you. thank you for joining us. Thank you.